Welcome to Tech Hub in New York City on WOR Radio 710 on your dial. I'm your host, Rob Taub, the man with the radio face. I open every show deferring to Mayor Michael Bloomberg because I'm hoping one day maybe he'll leave me in his will or just be nice to me in general or forgive some of my parking tickets or maybe buy me dinner. I always see him at the post house uh, on uh, 63rd Street and off of Madison Avenue. I'm giving them a plug. Anyway, Michael Bloomberg recently said New York City is quickly becoming the center of the digital universe, or as I call it here on Tech Hub, Silicon Alley. A few weeks ago, I used the analogy that the internet is the new Wild West, except that there's no land involved as there was with the Wild West, so the internet is infinite as opposed to having land like the Wild West, which was finite. However, That creates another problem, at least for me, and I'm sure there are people that are a lot worse than I am, which is you could spend the rest of your life surfing the web and still never come close to seeing any of the websites, or not all of them anyway. So I'm wondering maybe what the next really big invention will be. I'm I'm thinking clones. Then you can you you can have a clone that is just your web surfing clone, then it can report back to you and say, I found a great website. Uh, I recently found a really interesting website because I'm, I'm kind of addicted to online shopping. It usually happens uh, after I've come home from a few drinks, beers, bottles of wine, or whatever. And then you start surfing around, and you find just, like, the coolest things. And, you know, there's I once, back in the day, I don't want to age myself, but I'm 56 years old. I had really the great pleasure working with Liberace once, who didn't actually walk around in public wearing, like, Gola May jumpsuits. He took off his wig, and he wore Levi's and... Uh, sneakers and and usually like an Oxford shirt. We were walking up Madison Avenue and he was talking about going to yard sales. He goes, you know, I go to yard sales all the time. I was like, but you're so rich. And he goes, let me tell you something, kid. Everybody loves a deal. So we have somebody on the show today, Cheryl Yo. Yo, Cheryl. She is going to tell us about her company, Reclip It because it's for frugal shoppers, who isn't frugal, who love to browse for bargains, and that's me. Hello, welcome, Cheryl. Hey, Rom, how are you? Good. Thanks for having me here. I'm glad to have you. Um, I was looking through your site yesterday with you, actually, in a conference room, Mm -hmm. and it was like, like, my my fingers are trembling and sweating, thinking (laughs) about all those deals that I could possibly go for. So, you know, I look at a lot of, of, of websites, how does somebody go about finding you? Like I've, I know that Overstock is one of the ones actually, which I'm kind of disappointed with. They they make great promises, but there doesn't seem to be the kind of discounts that you have. So, how to t- just give me a little bit of the history of your site, how you started, so on and so forth. Sure, I can also tell you a bit more about what Reclip it is. Yes. So, um, we call ourselves a, a social discovery site for frugal shoppers. Um, so, people who like to look for coupons and deals before they actually shop and buy something online. Um, so, um, to answer your question, how do people usually find us? Um, we actually have a, a network of coupon bloggers or mommy bloggers who actually spend all most of their time blogging about coupons or a deal that they found online. Uh, and so we get a lot of our source from these bloggers who are curating uh, very exclusive and, and really good deals from these various coupon sites um, to their audience that are very specific. Are you, are, would you consider yourself an exclusive site? Because here is my, mm-hmm. my big question, and I'm not like criticizing your site. It's, I'm, I always get a little nervous when I have to join a site because mm-hmm. then I'm just afraid that uh, it's like I, I, I registered to vote recently <laughs> on, online and President Obama has been bombarding me with emails. Yeah. So I wouldn't say that the deals on our site are exclusive, but mm-hmm. some of the deals that our bloggers are able to source are exclusive to them because they have um, they cater to an audience that's um, specific to either their target demographic or the type of persona um, you know that they they um, sort of exude, and um, the the only thing about our site is that we do require users to log in. I mean, we don't require it, but it's sort of the site works better if if it is if you do log in with your um, social network credentials. And the, the only reason we do that is because we want to build a personalized dashboard for you for all the coupons and deals that um, is catered to your interests. So we're not like a a site where you come to that where you have to filter through all the the coupons and deals because that becomes overwhelming. We want to actually personalize it according to your interests and tastes. So, and do you, do you, 
have coupons for a variety, a wide range of different stores? Yes, we do. So, in fact, when you first sign up on Reclipit, we ask you a few questions about your persona. Are you a mom? Are you a techie? Are you a fashionista, um, grocery shopper? So, according to what you pick um, and then according to what data we can extract from your social networks. So, for example, if you log in through Facebook and you've liked um, Gap as a brand, then uh, we know that you like to shop at Gap. So, whenever Gap has a sale, it would appear on your dashboard um, and in a way that will notify you that, hey, you, we know you like Gap, so there's a discount, go in and shop. Okay, and like I'm obsessed with electronics. I noticed mm-hmm. you had like a lot of deals on there. So, th- well, this is the other thing. You know, like when, I, I, all right, I'm Jewish, I'm going to say this. You know, the Israeli stores are like, hello, going out of business. How can I, we're going out of business today and uh, is, everything is 90% <laughs> off. So it's, it's, you know, but it's not really a deal. But of course, people like me go, well, then I'll take all of the inventory. I saw like 50% off, mm-hmm. 66% off. I mean, what, what kind of better deal am I getting through you that I'm going to get if I go to Best Buy or somewhere else or so another all, website? All we're doing, we're not really sourcing the deal per se. We're we're not working directly with retailers yet to offer you a specific discount, but we're more like uh, we're aggregating um, all these deals from various coupon sources and, and deal sites um, so that you don't have to go out and uh, search for on like ten different sites. We you can come to Reclip it, and according to you know what we know about your interests, we can send that offer to you. Or I think okay. So let me see if I can draw an analogy. Is this like the really annoying people that are always ahead of me at the supermarket that I hate so much that buy like one hundred and seventy five dollars <laughs> worth of groceries, and then after they turn in all of the coupons, they they pay like fifteen bucks. Yeah, you mean ex- extreme couponers? Is that what they're called? Okay, yeah. so I instead of cursing at them, I could say, "Come on, you extreme couponer! I yeah. have to go home and wash my hair, go to the bathroom." There's actually a show on TLC um, called Extreme Couponing. Um, which features these, these um, grocery couponers. So, yeah, a lot of our uh, users are these extreme couponers who um, they, they don't really shop electronics or, or fashion as much as they do groceries. Um, so we do have a, a, some set of, of, uh, some, a subset of u- our users who are the extreme grocery shoppers. So they find all these coupons, um, uh, you know, sort of like dollar off a craft product or buy one free one, and then they go to the grocery store. Uh, so some of these users on our site, they they spend, uh, they buy fifteen hundred dollars worth of groceries, and they only pay twenty five bucks. So it's pretty amazing what you can, how much you can save with using coupons. Um. Okay. Now, how how long have you been in business? How did you start your business? Um. So we've been around for two years. Since I started it, we actually started out as a um, a digital wallet for daily deals. Um, so earlier this year in January, we did a little product pivot to expand our market to uh, accept more coupons and online deals. Where versus when we first started, we were really focused on daily deals in a sense of um, you know Groupon type deals and you know living social ones that you have to purchase ahead of time before you actually use it. So. I guess I want to get back. This is just what makes me curious because mm-hmm. I'm not that hip to the web. I mean, I'm on it all the time, but I mean, I, I can only type like five words a minute. So I'm like two fingered guy. And, and I see kids that are on there like, and they have like 20 sites open. How, what, ha- it's, it's like I was walking down the street yesterday. And I was looking at like, there are all these different new hamburger places that open. Some of them have to die and get killed. So what, there, there, there are going to be now. There are a lot of sites that offer discounted brands and discounts on electronics and a variety of things. What, what keeps some of these alive and and makes others j- disappear and go away? What's going to be special about your site? Well, that's why you know the coupon coupons have been around for decades, right? It's not something new. It's it's uh, uh, it's an established business. Um, I think the the problem with coupon sites is that it's really cluttered typically you know it's it's a ad ridden you know it's uh, not a good user experience Um, so a lot of people are reluctant to use coupons because they can't find they find it hard to find a coupon that's useful to them and what we've we want to do is we want to we we looked at the coupon space and figured that you know it's time that we um, 
you know, innovate around a coupon space and not make it clutter. It, it doesn't have to be a bad user experience. Um, so we took a design-driven approach and a user-driven approach to create a site where it's it's fun to browse. It's not overwhelming. Um, it's very image-focused, so you can quickly scan through the, the coupons because traditional coupon sites is all text-based. It's, sometimes it's yeah. A well, your, your site was really good-looking. It looked like nice. It made me want to. To go spend my money, I don't know. If I to like you know, some t- I'm sure there's a, there's some kind of addictive group now for for web people. If, if not, I'm going to like start that and t- you know be the next L. Ron Hubbard of that. Um, where am I going? So so you you really have virtual coupons then. So are you saving also the time of tangibility of people having to cut stuff up? Yeah, I mean uh, traditionally it's also been you know uh, coupons. Uh, were in the Sunday newspapers and people had to cut them out and put it in, into a physical folder and take them to the grocery store and whatnot. But um, obviously coupons are becoming increasingly digital and online. And so there's a trend where, you know, the moms who used to clip coupons uh, are now moving uh, online and, and, you know, finding their, their coupon source that way. And so we uh, we do a mix of digital coupons and also coupons that you have to print out, like a Jamba Juice, dollar off Jamba Juice. Uh, sometimes they do require you to print it out. But the whole point of reclipping a coupon is that you're reclipping to your virtual folder so that you can then carry your, your coupons that you've clipped uh, with you anywhere um, that you go. So it's easier for you to keep track of what you've clipped and you know what you want to spend on. All right. Well, thank you very much, Cheryl Yeo from Reclip It. Please, all of our listeners, check it out. It's a great website, and Cheryl is great. So thanks very much for being with us here on Tech Hub. Thank you. 